Hey there viewers, it's Charlie on Mac again, and welcome back to the G1 Marathon. And today, my review will be on... G1 Red Alert. Now, as we can see, Red Alert here is pretty much just Sideswipe if he was a Fire Chief car. But before we get onto the actual figure... We need to look at this box, because once again, we're dealing with a Commodore Series reissue. Now, as you can see, we have an actual image of Red Alert here. It says Commodore Series 4, classic reissue. Underneath, which just shows the figure. Top, which shows both the robot and vehicle modes. Sides, which are honestly nothing to write home about. At the back, with a bunch of Autobots. And here we have his bio, which if I can just read off camera. Now, <clears throat> function, security chief, caution can never be overused. Okay. No detail, no matter how small, escapes the vigilance of Red Alert. This edgy Autobot assumes trouble is coming any time his exceptional senses are activated. His ability to trigger alarms in his comrades often makes him unpop- uh, I can't even read. Unpopular despite their respect for his skills. Extremely fast in vehicle mode. He carries a particle beam rifle and rocket launcher with a 25 mile range. Red Alert sometimes makes quick judgments that cause injury to himself and his comrades. Well, so he's pretty much paranoid. Having a look at his tech spec pretty much. He, he has a 5 in strength. His intelligence is 7. His sp speed is 8, Endurance is 5, his rank, courage and firepower are all 7, and his skill is 8. <clears throat> this is when my first stops working. It's always when you're recording something, your body decides to just not work for you. We're opening the box up, have the inner shell with the missiles, and the as for the other figures. So here we have Jinrai or Power Master Optimus Prime, Starscream, Skywarp, and Prowl, who I've recently reviewed. So that's pretty much it for the box. Now let's get on with the actual figure. So, as we can see, Red Alert here is a, uh, well, he, he's a Lamborghini Countach, just like Sideswipe. Only, he has a Fire Chief color scheme. So, having a look, a look at the details, here it says FD, or Fire Department, and Fire Chief. The back with the tail lights. The other side, and here, here it also says FD. The front, the top, where it says the same thing, and we have the light bar, and unlike Prowl, it's very hard to remove this, if, if at all. If anything, I think the only way they can actually remove this is if you pretty much break it off, but come on, why would you do that? Here we have the rub sign, so if I can get this to work, there we go, you see? And then it just fades back to black. Underneath which, well... Pretty much we have the entire figure. We have the legs, the feet, the arms, and even the head. Now, I've seen tons of people display Sideswipe and Red Alert like this. With the head peeking out like so. But you see the cavity there? I believe that's how he's actually supposed to be displayed. Well, that's how that's supposed to work, but come on. 
If you complain about robot shite underneath a figure, then why? I mean, show a jet, but this is a car. You normally never see the underside of cars unless you're performing maintenance on it. So, yeah. So, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. I mean, it rolls quite well, I must say. But, well, let's go on with this guy's transformation. And to start, come in here, take the back of the car and just pull that out. Come in here and push down the feet and extend up the legs. Come in and take the sides of the, or take the doors and pull them out like so. Move the elbows up like so. Come in here, take the take the front part of the car, move that down. Take the head and move that. And then take the the back of the car and just fold it up. And here we have Red Alert in his robot modes. And excuse the pause, I was just grabbing the box that I threw. But as I was saying, here we have Red Alert in his robot mode. Doesn't have to put that back down. But yeah, Red Alert here is pretty much just sideswipe, as I said. So having a 360. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we have a look at his heads, we can see that it pretty much just sideswipes head. It's not like in the cartoon where his head was actually colored red so he was a he was a literally a, a red head but yeah it, pretty much his face was still silver but the head shape was colored red unlike the figure here where it's black probably because the head part was gang molded with the fists and the waist and these parts because if you look at the GT Sideswipe, that figure had a, a red coloured head, and the other black bits were all red as well. So I'm assuming the head was gang moulded. I suppose if you had a red alert and a G2 Sideswipe, if you're willing to sacrifice the GT Sideswipe, you can take the head from that and, and put it on this figure. But, eh. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. We need to introduce his, his weapons. Well, we have this. This missile launcher here. That can plug into either side or... or Cause you see these rods, it plugs into there. The, this can break, so be careful. And we have what I assume is the particle beam rifle. So if we just put that in, in his hand. And you see that's red. So, this is pretty much Red Alert in his robot mode. So, yeah. Now, for this guy's articulation, head, once again, can't do anything. But, he can look down and, and I suppose it, if you move the thing back, he can look up. But, can't go side to side. Arms can move like so. He's got elbows. Although he cannot T pose, which is disappointing. Nothing at the waist because, well, once again, we have another figure who's incapable of doing the splits because, once again, his legs are interconnected. Although I suppose he can move his feet up and down if you want to. But yeah, a bit, a bit less poseable than, than Prowl and Skids when it comes to the arms, because he can't T-pose whatsoever. <sighs> my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. But well, that's pretty much all I had to say about Red Alert. So, do I recommend him? Or Sideswipe, for that matter? Because this figure is also pretty much Sideswipe. Well... Once again, if you're a huge G1 fan, or if you just really, 
or if you really like Red a lot, because this guy, sure, his articulation is quite shitey, but he still looks cool. Plus, his transformation is really fun to do. Not to mention, Red Alert had his own spotlight episode in the original Transformers series. So yeah, this guy is really, really cool. But, well, let's just say you don't like how this guy is not that poseable, and you want Red Alert to have the ability to T-pose and do the splits. Well, we have a few options. Either Masterpiece Red Alert or the Siege figure. Granted, the Siege figure, the Fire Chief and FD are more in Cybertronia lettering, but still, if you want a, a highly posable Red Alert, but you're on a budget, then go for the Siege guy. But if you have the money, the Masterpiece. But if you don't mind how this guy is pretty much a brick, then go ahead and get this guy. Any of the reissues of Red Alert will do. So, that's been my review on G1 Red Alert. And this is Charlie Young, signing off.